hello 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 gamers welcome to another my video where i describe you great games to play that are not so well known unfortunately but good games to play and spend times and in this video i have some special candy for you it is called game aq first contact uh, aq is short of Aquila but it is known as AQ first contact game so in this video I will completely re review this game with all tips and tricks for a successful play of this game so this is not just be as you probably get used to to be just introduction video I will also tell you many many tips and tricks because I played this game, playing this game on mobile phone, on Android. So for a few months I've been playing it. And I joined some very nice clan. This is very fun when you plan, play this game in some clan. So I advise you to join some very active clan. So I collected some tips and tricks that I hope so will be helpful for your gameplay. And... I created <clears throat> account on Facebook game rule to show you how this game looks like so I'm not as you can see I'm not strong on this account but on mobile phone I am very on my phone I am very very strong because I play this game every day it is very very nice game I hope so you will also decide to use play this game maybe you will like or maybe you not it is you to decide from my video okay so in this video I will show you many tips and tricks and mostly important to tell you that let's see that battles in this game is in real time and this is the biggest fun in this game because ga battles are in real time and so so to say, very exciting. Each battle is very exciting. I will show you battles later and tips and tricks in battles. So each battle is very exciting. You can attack players, uh, uh, computer controlled ships, AI, so to say, and many, many more things to battle in this game. Also, there is very interesting thing. You can team up with your allies and together you can attack um, other players or other bases. For example, m maximum in your team against other player one is three of you. And that can be very, very interesting. And this game is concept of this game is very, very similar to game EVE Online which if you didn't didn't know eve online is free to play about few years ago became free to play and if you are have a lot time to spend i advise and like a lot space games eve online is one of the best space games in in the world so to say <laughs> Okay, so now let me introduce you this game so you to decide if you want to start playing it or not. Okay, so there is some music, very nice music. There is space music. It is very loud music, so I will probably... Upgrade complete. As you, I hope you hear very nice. To merely to shut down. Okay, I hope so you will hear me now very nicely. So, where do I start? As you can see, it is pretty standard. Uh, you you ba have base to upgrade. And there is something very interesting for new players. And that is, when you click to question button at left side for example it is very very nicely everything described in game so 
if you if you stuck somewhere in game you can always click on it and get very nice crab as you can see for example here so you have bases your base to upgrade your buildings and something very important because if you're a new player i advise you to upgrade your control control center as fast as you can don't worry you will have a lot of resources when you start even if you do not want to mine resources so this game is very very similar to eve online but on very very low complex complexity level so it is very simplified so to say eve online so that is why i like this game so much okay now let's just little more sound okay okay enjoy to enjoy in music okay so upgrade if you're a new player i advise you to upgrade your control center and immediately when you upgrade your control center i advise you to upgrade your drone bay because drone bay is very very useful and each upgrade as you can see uh, speed up its harvesting and speed so you will faster get nice things from drones for example let's see help as you can see you can read for example and let's see what we're gonna get from this my dispatch they came very nice the resources and what we have here fighter bear is nice then what i advise you to uh you must choose for example when you dispatch you must choose where to send your drones i advise you to send your drones to things that you need the most if you're a new player you will need just each of resources so i advise you to light drones send to mixed resources found for example then medium drones you can send for resources that you need for example but i have a lot of resources for now and most important i advise you to send heavy drones on very very important missions to find research things here we are the wreckage research because if you are when you are new player you will need a lot of research things to do to be a lot stronger so i advise you to get research always the strongest the heavy drones so each upgrade of your control center then upgrade your drone bay then after that focus on shipyard to unlock better ships now let's just this that talking upgrade complete okay okay a little more so that is it for drones now let me show you ships how it looks like and later i will show you battles very important in battles what to do upgrade so in ship we have many many ship different kind so you, you must choose uh, what kind of ship you wanna use and the, we come to another tip and advice for you i advise you to as soon as you can to get battleship to finish harder uh, quests quests are refreshed each day i mean on this thing let me show you you can zoom out this is quest for example at this warning sign as you can see this for example and each these quests are refreshed each day so you get new quest each day so for example i advise you to finish those quests as much as you can because some quests are very hard to finish 
because there are very strong ships for example this is very strong ship when you're new player you will see it is nothing uh, big problem when your fleet is destroyed because you will earn some experience in from game to what to do in game and what to attack and what not so I advise you to finish all quests that you can that you will destroy all ships I will show you later battle now let's get back to station to I show you something very interesting there is also uh, skills that I wanted to show you tips and tricks in skills. I like to upgrade skills, armor and shield regeneration. Why? Because those skills for me I think is best in battles, most useful in battles, especially if you're a new player. Because each of these upgrades give you very very big 1% while others give you very low percent from each upgrade for example all damage give you just half percent so i think it is very useful to focus on armor and shield regeneration so your ships will be better in battles Okay, now let me show you some other things, what I wanted to show you. Oh yes, that I wanted to show you. I advise you to, in your, as you can see, I re renamed my fleet Enterprise E, because I think it is the best ship in Star Trek universe, and my favorite ship, but most star trek people say that enterprise d is the most beautiful ship in star trek universe and i think so it is most beautiful but enterprise e is really badass with quantum torpedoes <laughs> okay so i wanted to tell you that uh you it is very useful to have mixed mixed uh kind of ships in your fleet so for example you will get when you start destroyer here you are that baby and i have corsair two of them and something very interesting you must know because some ships are very fast while some others are very slow so for example destroyer are very slow and they cannot avoid missiles very strong missiles from enemies but corsair will survive very nicely because they are very fast in game and enemy will not hit you with very strong missiles i will show you in battle how it looks like that tips and tricks in battles okay what i wanted more to show you yes research lab i advise you to upgrade last because <clears throat> It is, when you start playing this game, it is not so important that building because you can see it only speed up research. So save your resources for upgrading as much as you can your control center, your drone bay, then your shipyard to unlock better ships and then workshop. In workshop you can create many many useful things and all these things you will get from battles from <clears throat> against ships you can also forge better equipment i advise you to not uh this is very important i advise you to low equipment that you collected from battles and drones and such things in game i advise you to not uh put them on ship because when you put them on ship you cannot return them anymore they will be destroyed so I advise you to save them to forge better equipment so save them for better equipment and best equipment is legendary <clears throat> as you can see I advise you to for example for if you are a new player it is very enough to uh, 
forge just blue parts for you. Okay, that is it that I explained you. <clears throat> I told you that there is corporations, of course, you can create your own. There is messages. There is chat in game. Then what I wanted more to show you, then there is some store, <clears throat> of course, like in every game. And very important in store is that research store. I advise you to save research points. This is research fragments that you collect from battles and then any other things in game to, to save them and use them to upgrade research of your ships. Don't focus on these kind of weapons and fittings because if you're a new player you will want to have your ship to be very 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 strong. So I advise you to focus to save those research points to upgrade your ships. Best thing if you're a new player I advise you to focus and save research points for destroyer research because you will at start of game most of it use it unlock and un until you un unlock battleship which is really badass and titan is the really badass of course okay let's one draw destroy research <coughs> so i describe you that segment you can see for example here then what we have here you have here when you start playing this game this is not so important for you now then we have something like this it is not important black market of course i advise you to do not spend here until you really need something from here and there is also resources market where you can exchange resources for example and very interesting there is some events in game events very very interesting in this game is uh, not so many people playing this game so it is very very easily to be ranked very very high in events with not so much time spent playing this game to be ranked very high and to get very nice things because each event will give you very very nice things so this is one of the very nice things in game because not many people playing this game so you can always get nice things from events and very often are new events with different uh, with different uh, sort to say rewards then we have of course some uh, some uh, <coughs> achievements i advise you to finish achievements as much as you can because nice things you will get from these boxes then we have something like this this is very important uh, makers of this game are very very active so they uh, put new patches and the little change game very very often so it is very very active makers of this game so expect many many new things in game from makers so it is very very interesting as you can see what they added what they testing and so on what is in devil development as you can read with date and so on okay <clears throat> soon we will go to battle to I show you okay joint cooperation that I showed you just second to I see on my paper what I wanted more tips and tricks to I tell you before we going to battle just a second please So there is 
of course mining uh, let me just show you something interesting how it looks like so this is the map for example let's go to this map and here we are this is the whole map and as in EVE Online just send for example in wormhole send our fleet and here we are so you can uh, harvest resources and debris field harvest resources what you need and for events often you need to harvest resources for example this is how you your fleet you move with mouse pointer you can just click to show you how it looks like harvest just click on it and you harvesting and so this we come to another my tips and tricks for you i advise you to do not harvest too long and to be at game all the time because often pirates that are controlled by computer and also some other players can attack you but not so often people don't like to attack other players so often mostly like this red sun pirates will attack you so i advise you to when you harvest resources and debris field i advise you to harvest for about 15 to 30 minutes and after that just go to home and get back again to harvest again if you want so do not harvest too long because someone will attack you and so bad things will happen of course you will have to repair your fleet then something very this is the red sun pirates that attack or uh, that often attack you about 30 minutes is enough to not get attacked at all 30 minutes or less then something very more important if you're a new player i advise you if you do not need resources and you want to play this game and nothing really to do in this game for example you finished all quests i advise you to go to the debris field because and harvest the breeze field because you will get very 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 nice things from the breeze because as you can see no one from players salvaging item let's see what we're gonna get no one from players are around in this game so literally resources and the breeze field is all yours okay let's le wait a little more to see what we're gonna get it doesn't take too much time as you can see it is very fast you can harvest again to see what we're gonna get and we'll get back home also <clears throat> while we are here i want to tell you you can also attack this everyone you can attack and i advise you to attack this red sun pirating pirate ships fleets and i advise you if you're a new player or uh play this game i advise you to uh, attack player attack uh, ai computer controlled fleets to attack only levels that you know you will gonna win in battle so do not focus too much attacking players where you will lose battle because when you win you will get a lot of better things also when you attack some ships for example you attack battleships your opponent here battleships you will get blueprints for battleships so what target you will attack okay let's attack this target i think i can and now let me show you battle looks like let's click here and here are the battle is started always click this here cinematic view and then we have some very nice things you this is how you're doing you can move your fleet for example you can move and that is very interesting then use abilities i will show you later 
from where you can get this. Always focus in battle on one ship to use these abilities here, these abilities, so to faster destroy that ship. Okay, this battle is going to be longer. So to destroy, focus always on one ship because one less ship, one less problem in, in battle. So enjoy in sound of battle. I will later going to another battle to show you how to finish quests. Come on, come on, come on. I need this baby. 1000. This is badass when I use. One ship down, so we have one less target to destroy. So just focus on one ship to destroy, one ship at a one time to destroy, so to you be stronger against less ship that is standing. And easily we will win. And here we are. Very, very, very nice. Win. Very nice things. For example, Corvette, we five was fighting and we get that research, destroyer research, because we in battle our opponent had one destroyer, so this is what we get. Let's get back to the station. Click here. And we're going back. And here we are. So as you can see in battles is very important to focus on one ship to destroy and I advise you to always focus to destroy firstly the weakest ship if you are a new player you will maybe have hard time to know which is weak ship and which is stronger ship the weakest ship the best sign to know which is weak ship is that one is that looks little um, little one than bigger one so bigger one are stronger so to say okay so that is how battle looks like and we get very nice things here we are very very nice things from here oh everything is what we have here then what i wanted to show you some other tips and tricks in workshop oh so to say no workshop in fitting let's repair our fleet okay free then there is something fittings for example here we are just click edit ship as you can read maybe help okay add ship and here we are very interesting things i advise you when you start playing this game to fit you will get a lot purple weapons so just put them but you must know when you put them you cannot return them anymore if you click this button it will be destroyed so you cannot that is some little maybe maybe bad bad thing in game because you cannot put them out and use them on other ships so this is something very interesting for you there is some cells here we are cell and there they have durability as you can see 20 that means durability means that 20 battles it can be used in only 20 battles and after 20 battles it will be destroyed that that cell so i advise you to use these things against stronger players uh, if you want to attack some players and if you want to attack stronger computer controlled ai uh, fleets so i advise you to use these things and if you do not going to attack stronger players, I do not advise you. Just save them for real battles when you're gonna need for your clan, 
so to say, in battles and so on. Clans can control territories, of course, in region, to control regions. So I advise you to join very active clan because very, very fun when you go and attack your, you together, three of you against three of other. It is very, very big battle and very interesting. Okay, so this use, you do not have to use if you are new player this thing. Okay, now let's go to more tips and tricks for you. So as you can see, I didn't use any of it. I have, then there is something very interesting. You must know some weapons uh, have very, very strong damage, but very, very low range they can reach so you must calculate what kind of ships you will use if you see smaller ships that means corvettes and destroyers and so you must calculate what most of it you will gonna use in battle Okay, that is it, of course, what I wanted more to show you. This is it, for example. Ships, let's see, help. As you can see, you can equip them, pretty standard. Here, you can read, you can pause this, my video, and read. As you can see, read, and this is it. Okay, now let me show you more tips and tricks. What I wanted more to tell you. Uh, just a second to have a look on my paper. What I wanted more tips and tricks to explain you. So as you can see, game mechanic is pretty simple. Okay, that I explain you. Just a second to read. Okay. So, well, let's go to battles that I wanted to t show you. Uh, let's put sound a little to enjoy in battle. Okay, so I advise you to finish complete. finish okay so let's see what i didn't where is upgrade i need yes shipyard let's complete as you can see i have a lot of resources so let's upgrade shipyard one hour okay let's go to the battle so i advise you to finish this quest as much as you can because you will get daily of them and you will get very very nice things from it when you're a new player when you see a lot of ships like this you will not defeat them and so i advise you to focus on for example like these ships let's attack this ship but i advise you to focus on things that will get you for example this is very nicely you can defeat them and this is very nicely okay now let's attack this one because I want this one let's dispatch our sh Engaging the hunt target. Fleet under attack. let's click this button here also very important I advise you to play this game on to start if you want to start play this game to start playing it on mobile phone because Facebook game room so will be shut down in few months so i do not know what is gonna happen with all your progress in all games on facebook game room so if you want to start playing this game i advise you to play it on your mobile phone so you do not lose progress of your play playing this game you can also move your ships, it is very important to move them. For example, just hold left mouse button and move them to avoid 
missiles. Target destroyed. Select target. And as you can see, very nicely done. Target destroyed. Our fleet is victorious. Trade items received. Incoming transmission. And we have a nice research to use. Okay. Now let's let's get to another battle to show you with different okay this one is a little stronger and it is not worth to attack this one because price is very very low let's attack this one Engaging hunter. oh i forgot to repair attack. a ship but they are not so damaged anyway Here we are enjoying battle. As you can see, Corsairs is very very fast ships and they avoid all these missiles against Select them. So target. it is very very good Select to have target. different kind of target ships in battles. To at Select least target. one ship, so so to at least one ship to survive battle as you can see destroyer is very very our destroyer is very 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 slow okay let's see what we're gonna get from this oh nothing nothing special there is also news and so on i hope i describe you everything in this game it is not so complicated game to play just a second till I look on my paper if I didn't miss some tips and tricks for you. I will try to make more videos about this game with advanced tips and tricks with battles against other players 3 versus 3 <clears throat> and so on. How Also I will need to explain you how clan thing corporations in this game is called clans, how works and so on so i hope so i will make more videos about this great game just a second to i do not to i see on paper if i didn't miss something to tell you some tips and tricks okay yes i write on paper everything so to not forget in my videos tips and tricks yes i think yes i i describe you everything i just wanted to tell you that that you can play this game on mobile devices so i don't advise you to play on facebook game room because facebook game room will be shut down so and your progress will be probably lost so i advise you to f to play it if you want to start playing it to play it on your phone on android it is i found this game just type its name aq first contact and you can start playing it that is it it is pretty simple game it is very uh, looking game like eve online but a lot lot simpler than eve online but have the most fun things from eve online is in this game okay that is it i hope you f you find this video very useful and helpful and very i hope so entertaining at the least and see next videos where I describe you great games that I find that are great games but not so well known. With of course my tips and tricks to you be successful in them. And I hope so I will f soon make more advanced tips and tricks in battles from this game. And check my other videos of other great games on my channel IG Remain Gaming. And see next videos. Enjoying games. Bye.